So here we have a slide that illustrates your typical sales and marketing funnel, if you like. So uh, we've got the, the typical shape of lots of uh, suspects at the top feeding through to a smaller number at the bottom. And, and we're referring in, we're filling that pipeline from three places. Suspects that we've identified, either from leads or referrals from our existing customers. We can feed in our current clients, those that would buy more for us or buy more frequently or spend more. So the current clients can be fed into these programs. And they also, sometimes we can use lapsed clients of so people that might have bought from us in the past, but for some reason or other have dropped off the radar. So we can stick those through as well. So then we have a qualification criteria. Remember we said our suspect must display the symptoms of pain that your product or service can help with. So if they don't do that, or they haven't got the budget to deal with you, or they're not the right size, or they're in the wrong geographical location, it's better to take them out early and not waste our efforts on these uh, very targeted um, multi-touch programs. So we're going to invest quite a lot of our time and resource in each one of those suspects. So we need to be as sure as we can that they're qualified to take part in the program and become a customer at the end. So again, one of these things that happens as you run more of these programs and you put different batches through is you get better at the qualification and kicking people out early actually benefits the system. It will mean we convert a higher percentage of leads as we go through. So then we've got our suspect pool, which we're going to then run through this program. So they're going to start with the first touch. Perhaps six weeks later, they'll get the second touch. Six weeks after that, they're going to get the third touch. So the idea of that 12 to 18 month time scale is it's sufficient time for things to have changed in their world for them to want to engage with you. So we're not trying to contact them and hope that we're at the right time. We are staying on the radar for that length of time so that when something changes in that particular business and things are right, the conditions are right for them to talk with you, that they will hopefully come to you rather than you having to sell actively to them. So we're looking to attract, a bit like a magnet, attract the right clients from that suspect pool. And after each touch, we're measuring and monitoring to improve and make sure that the next program goes through and we do it slightly better. So from there, uh, we track, we report, and they feed into the sales team as qualified prospects. So prospects that know a bit about you, understand you, and are actively ready to talk and engage in the sales conversation.